How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy 123 here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the Windows boot logo to any image in Windows 11 or 10. A warning before we begin, changing the boot logo requires us to make changes to the Windows bootloader. Making changes to the bootloader has a potential to cause Windows not to boot if something goes wrong, so proceed with this tutorial at your own risk. I'm not responsible if anything goes wrong, you mess up your OS, and lose any data. There's also a few requirements that our computer needs to meet in order to change the boot logo. The first thing we need to check is that Secure Boot is disabled. To check if Secure Boot is disabled or not, within Windows, search for msinfo32. Then open up System Information. Now look for Secure Boot State. And if it is off, then Secure Boot is disabled and you're good to go. If it says on, then you'll need to restart your computer, enter the BIOS, and disable Secure Boot. The process for disabling Secure Boot may vary between different computers, so you may need to Google how to disable Secure Boot for your specific computer or motherboard. My computer has an MSI motherboard, so when I restart, I need to press the delete key on my keyboard to enter the BIOS. Then I need to click on settings, Advanced, Windows OS Configuration, and Secure Boot. Next, I need to click on Secure Boot and change it from Enabled to Disabled. I can then exit the BIOS by clicking the X button in the top right hand corner of my screen and choose Yes to save the change settings and restart my computer to boot back into Windows. Moving on, we also need to make sure that our computer's BIOS mode is UEFI. This can also be verified in the system information within Windows. If your computer's BIOS mode is set to legacy, your computer is either too old to support UEFI, or you'll need to essentially reinstall Windows in UEFI mode, which is not really worth it in my opinion just to change the boot logo. Now it's time to download HackBGRT. This is the program we're going to use to change our boot logo. I'll leave the link to download HackBGRT in the description below. Once you're on the GitHub page, find the latest version. At the time of recording this video, the latest version of HackBGRT is 2.0.0. Under Assets, click on HackBGRT.zip in order to start your download. I'm going to save the HackBGRT zipped folder onto my desktop for easy access. Once it's done downloading, we'll need to extract the zip folder. Right click on it and choose Extract All. A window will come up and I'll leave the file path as is to extract HackBGRT onto my desktop. Click Extract and a HackBGRT folder will appear on the desktop. Go ahead and open up the folder. And inside you'll see another HackBGRT folder, so open that as well. And inside we'll see all of the HackBGRT files needed to change our boot logo. Minimize the HackBGRT folder for now, and find an image you'd like to use as your boot logo. I'm going to use my YouTube channel logo as an example. I'm going to right click on the file of my logo, then go down to Open With, and I'm going to choose Paint in order to edit my logo within Paint. You can choose any photo editor to edit your image, such as Photoshop or GIMP, but I'm going to choose Paint since it's simple to use and it's free. Now that my logo is opened in Paint, the first thing we need to do is resize the image so that it's smaller. So I'll click the Resize and Skew button, then select Pixels. It's recommended that your image be roughly 200 by 200 pixels to 300 by 300 pixels. However, it shouldn't be a problem if your resolution is a bit larger than that if you want your boot logo to look a little bit bigger on the boot screen. I'm going to resize my image down to 300 by 300 pixels. The resolution doesn't need to be a square, so the horizontal or vertical value can be larger than the other. Click on OK to resize the image. The boot logo will be saved as a bitmap image. This means that the image will have no transparency like a PNG. So I'm going to fill in all of this white space in the background with black, so it blends in with the background of the boot screen. If we don't do this, the white background will be shown. That's all of the editing that needs to be done for our boot logo. We now need to save our image as a 24-bit bitmap image. To do this in Paint, go up to File, Save As, and choose BMP Picture. 
save the image to the hackbgrt folder, the folder that contains all of the hackbgrt files. Call the file name splash.bmp and make sure that the save as type is set to 24-bit bitmap. Click save and you'll be asked if you want to overwrite an existing splash.bmp file. Click yes as we are just overwriting an example boot logo that comes with hackbgrt. You'll then get a warning that transparency will be lost. Just click on OK. Now that our image is saved, we can close out of paint. Now head back into the hackbgrt folder and right click on setup.exe and run it as an administrator. You'll get a warning that says that Windows protected your PC. Click more info and then click run anyways. Click yes to allow this app to make changes to your device and a command prompt window will open with different options for hackbgrt. We want to do a regular install of hackbgrt so I'll press the I key on my keyboard Afterwards, Paint will reopen with the image that will be set as our boot logo. We can just close out of it. Now you can see that HackBGRT has mounted our EFI partition and installed necessary files for our bootloader with our custom logo, as well as created a new HackBGRT boot entry. At the bottom, it says all done, and we can press any key to exit out of HackBGRT. And now we can restart our PC and for most computers that I've tested this out on, your custom boot logo should automatically be applied. You can see in my case, however, it did not work, and my MSI boot logo is still showing. If you are also having this problem, restart your computer again, and head into the BIOS. Now look for your boot order priority. In my BIOS, it's located in settings and boot. Click on boot option number 1, and in the list you should see UEFI hard disk or the model of your SSD or hard drive with hackbgrt written beside it, and that should be set as your first boot priority. However, in my case, hackbgrt is not in the list, and the only option I have is the Windows Boot Manager, which is our default Windows bootloader with our normal boot logo. What I need to do in my case is exit out of this window and go down to where it says UEFI Hard Disk Drive BBS Priorities. Here, I need to set HackBGRT as boot option 1. I'll then go back and verify that boot option number 1 in my boot priority is now set to UEFI Hard Disk HackBGRT. I can then exit the BIOS by clicking the X button in the top right hand corner of my screen and choose yes to save the change settings and restart my computer. Now, when my computer boots back into Windows, you'll see my custom boot logo. If you wanted to remove your custom boot logo, reopen setup.exe in the hackbgrt folder, make sure to right click on it and run it as an administrator. Once the setup is opened, enter R on your keyboard, you can see that hackbgrt has been disabled and removed from the EFI partition, and everything is done. Press any key to close out of hackbgrt, and now if you restart your computer, your boot logo will be back to normal. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.